And now, another weapon that Iran is planning to use hackers to attack the U.S. through the Internet. That is according to expert testimony before the House Homeland Security Committee last week. What would it, an attack like that mean for the U.S.? Here with Insight is cybersecurity expert and former White House Chief Information Officer Teresa Payton, also the author of a new book, Protecting Your Internet Identity, Are You Naked Online? Teresa, thank you so much for joining us today. I mean, the last thing that Americans want to think is that in any way our government or our utilities, other options as well out there, that they would be naked and open to terrorist attack. Uh, what's the latest on concerns from Iran? Well, obviously, a lot of times when we're talking about this, we're talking about China and Russia. Uh, but now we're talking about Iran because Iran has been very vocal and said they want to build, buy, or partner cyber capabilities to be able to show that they're a force to be reckoned with. And it's not just about going after um, identity theft or intellectual property, which is very important, but there are ways now in which you can use a cyber attack to actually uh, affect physical infrastructure. What are the worries there? So some of the worries are, and you're right, sometimes it's identity theft, sometimes it's taking money out of the financial system, uh, but some of the other concerns that are out there are could you do something on a really hot day to the power grid, which impacts air conditioning and utilities? Uh, could you do something to a uh, fuel supply? Could you mess around with a uh, radar that's used for either military equipment or for uh, the airlines for public and private travel? So those are the types of things that people have to pay attention to and plan for. And you and I have also had a conversation about the fact that some governments will often want to use ways that they can manipulate the Internet to silence voices that are speaking out. I mean, we saw in the Green Revolution a couple of years ago in Iran that social media and technology and use of the Internet was such a powerful way for people to get messages outside of the country. Um, what about countries like Iran and others trying to silence those um, who were dissidents there and, and maybe, you know, silence their ability to share? You're right. As a matter of fact, there have been discussions underway that Iran wants to actually create their own national internet called the halal or second internet, where they would effectively own all of the traffic coming in and out of the country and be able to monitor all those communications. I mean, the good news is, and we talk about this in our book, we actually have tools um, that, you know, nobody's completely anonymous, but help put some layers around whether somebody's undercover, you know, in the military, intelligence, or law enforcement, or these dissidents to help protect them. But obviously the concern is if Iran builds its own internet, those communication protocols that are used today to try and let their voices be heard are going to have to change. And so that is one concern. Could they effectively cut the people of Iran from the outside world? How does the U.S., how do our own agencies uh, keep up with these threats and the fact that technology morphs so quickly um, when we're trying to make sure that these kinds of things don't, you know, cross our borders, at least in the world of technology, um, to be able to reach to U.S. interests? Right. I mean, I, I think the good news is you're seeing things like last week where you had the testimony on the Hill. We're talking about it openly, so obviously the private sector can be thinking about it and planning for it. And the good news is that the departments and agencies, there's research, there's focus, uh, they're paying attention, um, and they're doing their own tests as well. And so, you know, really sort of that preparation is going to really pay off in the long run. Well, it is certainly a, a new front line in the battle, uh, the war on terror. Teresa Payton, always great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shannon.